Hi students, I hope all are safe and fine. Today we are going to discuss one of the important topic from nursing that is assessment of knowledge. It is not only important for students but also teachers. Why? Because assessment or evaluation both the terms are same. So assessment of knowledge is one of the important because assessment helps the teachers to know how his or her teaching is successful. So assessment is one of the important aspect in our daily routine life in mainly for nursing professionals. Why? Because it helps the teachers to know in what areas they are lack. Similarly, in the same way it helps the students where they are, ha where they are having gap in learning difficulties. So it indirectly helps the students to know the learning difficulties and it indirectly helps the teachers to know where there is some gap in their teaching. So this is some of the introduction about assessment of knowledge or evaluation of knowledge. Now we are going to see the definition of assessment or evaluation. See there are many definitions for assessment or evaluation but the definition which was given by Ralph Tyler is very very frequently used. So evaluation is a process of determining to what extent the educational objectives has been realized. So this is called evaluation or assessment. So as a uh, student we have some objectives. So what is that objectives? That objectives whether the student is achieved or not we will evaluate that is called assessment or evaluation. And next what is the purpose of assessment or evaluation mainly knowledge. So first of all in the introduction part only I told you it helps the teachers to know the teaching difficulties and how her or his teaching is effective and in the same way it helps the students to know the learning difficulties and in the same way it helps or it makes to understand the teacher where the teaching is difficulty and it also helps to determine till where the objectives has been achieved. So these are some of the important purpose of uh, assessment or evaluation of knowledge and next there are some methods of assessment or evaluation of knowledge that is formative assessment and summative assessment. What is formative assessment? In the name itself it is there. Formative means it is an ongoing assessment which is taken place in the educational institution. For example, unit test, slip test, quarterly examination, half yearly examination. So this helps the students where the uh, difficulties are there in learning and it helps the teachers also to develop the students in a cognitive way. So where the student is feeling difficulty, so there we can take them and we can make them in an effective way in concern with knowledge. But in summative assessment, so in the name itself it is there, summative means while teaching last we will summarize the topic. So final assessment like annual examination, university or board examination. This assessment we cannot do any correction to the students. Whatever they have present in the exam directly it will reflect their result. It is mainly helpful for grading the students and giving the grades for the students. This is called summative assessment. In formative assessment we can correct the student but in summative assessment we cannot correct the student that is the final result. And what are the tools we use to assess the knowledge? The first one is essay type questions and second one is short answer type and third one is MCQs matching fill in the blanks. So in essay type questions again there are two types that is extended type of essay questions and restricted type of essay questions. The best example for extended type of essay question explain in detail about nursing process. This is extended type. In this whatever the student knows he will write about all the steps whatever he knows he will write extendedly and restricted type of essay questions may example same question question number one a define nursing process two marks b list out the steps of nursing process three marks and c explain in detail about nursing diagnosis which we follow 10 marks so this is restricted type of essay question in that we are restricting the students to write according to the marks. So this is called restricted type of essay question. And second one is short answer type. In this again there are some methods that is labeling the diagram. We will just give the diagram and we will ask the students to label the parts for 
फाइव मार्क्स यू आर सीइंग नो एंड लास्ट वन इज शॉर्ट आंसर टाइप शॉर्ट आंसर टाइप में नर्सिंग प्रोसेस में ज्यादा मेनी स्टेप्स आर देर इन दैट जस्ट नर्सिंग डायग्नोसिस फाइव मार्क्स सो यू विल राइट ओनली अबाउट नर्सिंग डायग्नोसिस सो नेक्स्ट वन इज completion of the statement so we will give some statement at last you have to complete the statement so these are the different methods of assessment in short answer type and last one is uh, competitive type that is multiple choice questions match the following fill in the blanks as already you know about that so in this class we have discussed about one of the important topic that is assessment of knowledge or evaluation of knowledge in this see we have seen definition of assessment or evaluation and what is the purpose of assessment or evaluation and what are the methods we use for assessing the students that is formative assessment and summative assessment and what are the tools we use for assessing the knowledge of students that is essay type uh, short answer type and very short answer type in that we have seen different type tools and this is the class thank you for giving support to us take care be safe